Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to conceal the under eye area without the creasing. So I'm a person who loves to laugh and smile a lot, so I tend to get a lot of smile lines right here. And not only that, I have dry skin, so that adds to more lines around the eye area. And whenever I do wear makeup, I like to put on concealer to cover up my hereditary dark circles. <laughs> so I've tried a ton of concealers, I've tried a ton of different ways to sort of perfect that area. So I'm going to share my tips and tricks with you today. Let's jump right in. So right now I don't have any products underneath my eye area. I did my makeup but I left this part bare so that I can show you exactly what I do. First thing I like to do is to hydrate the area with an eye cream. So I'm just going to go with a lightweight eye cream. This is like a gel type. It's not too thick and emollient. It doesn't tend to make your concealer or foundation ball up. And then I like to go in with a primer. Now my go-to is the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur. This really helps smooth out the skin canvas. It helps blur any fine lines, pores, and things like that. What happens if I don't apply something like this is my concealer tends to drag and it becomes really dry and patchy. So yeah, this is a must. And I like to focus this where my smile lines are, which are out here. <laughs> and I also like to get in right underneath here because um, for most people, there's usually like a line right here. If you lean your head backwards, you'll see it. Now that we have our eye cream and primer on, it's time to go in with the concealers. But first, I like to always go in with a pinkish salmon color corrector. So this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles in the shade Brightener. So the, br the, the br <laughs> so this brightener shade is great because it cancels out any darkness because it's a pinkish color. It's able to get rid of that bluish, purplish color. And my dark circles tend to be a bluish tone, so this really helps. Now the tip here is to just apply it where you need it. Don't apply like a huge triangle right underneath your eye area with this because you don't have blue all over. So I'm going to take a damp beauty blender and I'm going to blend this out. As you guys can see, like this area now, very brightened up, right? So a little goes a long way. And that's the key thing to concealers. People think like the more concealer you put on, the better. Okay. Now that we have our brightener on, it's very bright, we're gonna go in with a concealer that matches our skin tone. So I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light. I'm just going to dab it right here and right here. So I'm not gonna go all the way up here. I'm not gonna focus on this outer corner where smile lines wrinkles, dry lines tend to be. I see a huge difference when I blend out my concealer with my beauty blender instead of a concealer brush because with a damp beauty blender, it has moisture in it. So it really adds the moisture into your concealer and really lets it soak in into your skin. Whereas brushes, I find, especially on my dry skin, it just kind of sits on top and it might turn out patchy. There are concealers out there that are really drying, but this is great and this is great. So together, they give you that nice glowy satiny finish on the under eyes. I like, I don't really like smile to myself when I'm like doing my makeup. So I don't see like smile lines, um, the products gathering in there yet, but definitely in this line right underneath the inner corners, it's really obvious. So what I like to do is go in with my beauty blender and then just lightly blend that out, blend it out with a tip. So because I have dry skin, I'm not going to go in with a ton of powder. What I usually like to do is go in with this hourglass ambient lighting powder. It works amazing because it gives you that nice subtle glow. It's not going to be like um, crazy sparkles underneath the area. It doesn't have anything like that, but it also has really soft and finely milled powder that is barely detectable. So I just like to dab it with a humongous powder brush. It's my favorite brush. Um, you guys asked about this. This is the Sedona Lace brush in 376. 
As I grow older, I find that the techniques that I use for applying makeup also evolves and kind of changes with my skin. Um, so now I'm like in my eight, late eight, eight twenties. <laughs> so now I'm in my late twenties, and I find that the way I apply concealer, for example, is very different from the way I apply concealer when I was twenty. When I was twenty, I just apply concealer, right? I can apply. Ugh, my voice is going. I can apply concealer, like two, three different concealers, just layer it on and it'll still go on beautifully, like it's just smooth. But now I can't use more than two concealers or else it'll just, because the more products you use, the more it will increase. Um, and the less you use, the smoother it will be. But yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Leave me a comment down below and I'll catch you very soon in my next one. Bye. Pinker salmon, pinkish. You've seen this. Why was do my whole face like that.